Hey, we're down at Timeless Arts Refinishing in Grand Rapids, Michigan. 616-453-8309. Check out our website at www.timelessartgr.com. We got this beautiful old, about 150 year old walnut desk here. Um, this thing has been hand built. I can tell that by the dovetails because they're they're not machine cut. They're <coughs> cut with a with a saw, a hand saw. Anyhow, the thing was ripped apart. It was put back together. <coughs> um, the front door is off it yet. You can notice that the legs are darker. They're just naturally they were darker. Um, right now, the piece has been stripped. It's been sanded, repaired, and assembled back together. <coughs> it's got about three coats of pre-catalyzed lacquer on here and it's been sealer sanded. Sealer sanding is basically where, where you just sand the finish um, for the next coat. But what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to use some glaze to help tie in these lighter areas a little closer to the legs. Um, so we got some Van Dyke brown glaze here. Um, and I'm going to demonstrate how I glaze this stuff. After it's glazed, it has to be coated over too. So as soon as the glaze is dry, you can spray over it. How's it looking, there, Sandy? It looks good. So the trick to glazing is just kind of getting the tone, getting your glaze as dark as you'd like to have it. And then you have to kind of brush it out. And of course you brush it with the grain, not against the grain. You can go against the grain like that to kind of level it out, but you want to go with the grain at the end. And of course, you have to come back and take the glaze off, like the leg here where you don't want it. You can't just leave that on there. And you got to work with this glaze while it's wet. So, can you see a difference in that? Yeah. From where we started? Mm hmm. Once this stuff dries, it dries, uh, it has to be clear coated over the top, but if you didn't like it, you can always wipe it back off. But once you spray over it, it's trapped under it, and then if you don't like it, you're going to have to strip it, strip it right off. So Now, I don't want to glaze the inside of this piece because it, that the inside is actually bird's eye maple. And yeah, you want me to get a closer so they can see yeah, it? Yeah, you can do that if you'd like. That's pretty. I hope that's not too dark. There's that. So, the inside being bird's eye maple. I just want to keep that clean in there. Now you can see how the front of the drawer here, <coughs> this is the lip right in here. It should actually just be lifted up a little bit. This top piece actually comes right off. It's just doweled in place with wood dowels it's meant to remove. So, there's that. I'll make a glaze, put a little bit of glaze on this. So, it's hard to get up inside all these little cracks and crevices, so you let keep the blade wet, you just take your brush and just work it into cracks. You gotta move quick, you can't poke around at this job.
And after you get it to where you like it, I'm going to shut it in for a second. Come across there. That looks pretty good, don't you think? Mm-hmm. A pretty little desk. Yeah, I wish I owned this piece. Mm -hmm. Walnut is some of my favorite wood. I like that bird's eye maple too. Yeah, the bird's eye maple is really cool too. So I just actually pulled the drawer out a little bit so I can wipe off this glaze that's dropped on the front of the leg here. And of course, we got the top of the edge here glaze. Tying in with the uh, legs now. Mm -hmm. So we're flipping it around to this side. I'm not putting any glaze on the legs at all because the legs are already three or four times shaded, shades darker than. And of course, I'm saving the top for last. And you can't go putting your hands on this. Um, where you glaze, you gotta be careful and aware of what you're doing. I actually liked it the way it was, where it was lighter. Mm-hmm, me too. Before I actually uh, darkened it up. But, there's all that. So, I'm coming here real quick with my brush and dab. Did you see what I'm doing there? Mm-hmm. So that's right in here where it might be a little light. There's a, usually glaze on your brush, so if you got a little light spot, you just kind of dab it like that. To kind of tone it in where it needs to be. Mm -hmm. It's looking good. Hopefully we're still recording. Because we're almost done. So we got that. Looking good. I'm <clears throat> coming back once again. Taking my rag and I'm just wiping off this glaze it got on the leg because if I don't it's going to be dark. Alright, there's that. That looks good. Mm-hmm, it does. Take a look at the front in here. That looks good. So, I'll clean my ridge in here along with keep your bird's eye maple clean. Looks good. Now we just gotta do the top. So, hopefully, that video will last. We're not going to do the back, the back looks fine. <coughs> Normally I would have started at the top. That's usually the way I do things. I usually don't start at the bottom side and work my way up to the top. That's actually the wrong way of doing it. 
but <coughs> I've been doing this long enough where I can get away with that. It's best to start up top and work your way down. That way, in case you drip blaze down on it, you're not mucking up your uh, the sides that you've already completed. So. Uh. After I let this glaze dry, I'm going to come back and I'm going to top coat it and then I'm going to shade it with, with some dark brown shader in the same spots that I had uh, glazed. So I can just get that a little bit darker. That looks pretty, pretty good. That. Now the reason why I glaze that, the legs are tied in closer now to the color, but this beautiful little piece right here is set on top. Mm. And this little piece has little metal pins that just insert in here. I could tell at one time this piece was longer and it had snapped off because there's holes um, here, 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 and here. and. There was some up front that I plugged up, but when the piece came to me, this was all missing. Um, and that little piece would actually set on top of it like that. So I'm going to try to tie in the color to this so it's a little bit closer to this top piece right here. So this is original. I did not uh, strip this. It would have been a lot of work stripping it. I was able to clean it up. So, And we do got a front drawer or a front shelf that goes to the piece too. Um, but that's over here. I haven't glazed that yet, so, uh, mm. so that's pretty good, huh? Yeah. Okay, you want to flip that off then? Well, thank you. If, uh, if you got anything you need to have refinished, you can find us on our on our uh, bottom of this YouTube video. There's a phone number there, and there's a website. Check out the website. My email address is there. You can email me with your pieces of furniture. Uh, if you just want to call and talk about a project that you're doing, feel free to do that too. Thank you, and have a good day.